Hello everyone, Agent Gold here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Um, so we've just opened up Lonely Grave Island, and there are no heart squids or tinker bats here. Cackle bats, I should say. Uh, so that makes me think I have all the upgrades, which means I should be able to find everything on every island. So first, let's go back to Scuttletown. We probably will have to go back here anyway. Uh, I know exactly where the things that are missing here are, so we can look for those. But first, let's see if anything has changed in town here. <laughs> the name has changed. It is now Ammo Town. I think that's the same conversation I saw before. Yeah, maybe I don't need to come back here this time. You know, at this point, I can't help but wonder if the moment before where Bolo just had a burst of knowledge and he figured out, uh, um, figured out what the death mask was and everything, if that really was just his own brain working for once, if that's what it looks like when he's firing on all cylinders. Uh, let's heal up. Check in at the shop here. I don't have a lot of gems. What happens? Normally I come out of a dungeon with a lot more than this. What, do I, what can I afford? I can afford scimitar polish. Okay. I think... Did I only get one of these? Just now. So that leaves... I need about 600 gems to get the shampoo and silky cream for those upgrades. I'm pretty much good on all my other disposable items, so I just need to get like 600 more gems. Um, okay, so I know where I want to go to look for secrets, and pretty sure everyone's just got the same conversations here. I don't think I actually talked to Sky last time after... Uh, after Joe walked out. So let's just see what she is. Isn't Wrench a guy too, though? I guess being a bird gives him a little immunity. Hey, I can walk up here. I can't. Aww. Oh, <laughs> well, that's disappointing. I can walk up here, but I can't talk to any of these guys. Okay, so. Like I said, I know what to do to look for secrets, but before I do that, I'm going to take just a few minutes here just to express my thoughts on something that's kind of bothering me. And this one is intended for way forward if they manage to come across this video in some way. It's meant for anyone who likes game design and is planning to make games one day. It's just kind of... It's something that shouldn't have happened the way it did in this game, and it happened the way it did. So I'm just going to go over it, I'm going to say what's wrong, and I'll just kind of say my piece on the matter. So, here we have the power kick. It's kind of slow. Here I am using it as fast as I can. It does 10 damage, and here's a not fully upgraded hair whip doing 7 damage, hitting much faster. So in the time it takes me to use one power kick against an enemy, I can very easily whip them twice for more damage. And what bothers me here is that uh, the power kick was something that I had to buy for 400 gems, and it was an optional upgrade, um, and I can't upgrade it any further where I can spend money to upgrade my other things, which uh, my problem with it is the power kick is useless. There is no reason for me to use the power kick instead of the hair whip. Even when the hair whip was not fully upgraded, then the power kick might have been a little bit better than it, but it might have been just as good. It might have still been just as good to use the hair whip because that's only one button. The power kick needs to do something. It, maybe it should... Um, oh, I had some ideas what it could do. Um... Maybe it should move you forward just a little bit, kind of like the, what the back dash does, and give you a little bit of invincibility. That would make it like the dashing attack, but you don't have to build up for it, and it doesn't last as long. Or 
Maybe if enemies are guarding themselves, it should be able to still damage them and knock them out of their guard stance so that you can follow it up by whipping them. Or, or just get the damage through even though they're defending. Maybe it's like a defense piercing kind of thing. Or this one was my favorite. Maybe it should stun enemies. Like when Shantae gets hit by something either in midair or with a lot of force, she gets knocked back a bit for it. And you can use the recover move to bounce out of that. This would make the power kick so it's like your version of one of those big attacks. It would make it feel awesome to use. If enemies got knocked back when I used the power kick on them or got stunned so that I could keep whipping them, I would probably try to use it as often as I can. But as it stands, the power kick does nothing. And I think what baffles me here is that um, it's the only optional attack that I can get. All of the attacks that are mandatory to get, the dash attack, the scimitar, pogo, the cannon, uh, they're all great. WayForward is good at designing these attacks, so how did the one attack that's optional fall so flat? It, it just bothers me. It's, uh, it's, it's like they just tacked it on so that you have one more thing to buy in order to get 100% completion, and that's just not good. So... I have I've said my piece on that now, so uh, that's that's all. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. So if you're looking at designing something like that, just make sure that it has some reason to use it. Something that. Uh, oh, he still wants these. Do I have to? Okay, I don't. Um, yeah, if it if it has some reason to use it over the main attack, the hair whip in this case then that's a lot better than... Oh, I fell just short. Uh, but yeah, that's a lot better than the way it fell so flat. Okay. I know I can make this, I'm just not sure exactly what the right combination is going to be. Oh, that makes sense. That I have to actually space it out a bit. Okay. I'm not too surprised to see a cackle bat here. I kinda hoped for something more since this was... I could clearly see this, that there was something over here for the longest time. Um, I've been coming back here and back here and just continuously trying to get to this. So it would have been nice if there were like treasure chests over here or something. There's a little boat in the background, which... It's something I... Yeah, I kind of I could try to guess at whose boat that is or why it's here or uh, anything along those lines, but yep, there just isn't that much to see there. And there is still that one spot that I can burst into and crawl under, just left of a lighthouse there, but I don't know what I can do with that. It kind of reminds me of that hard squid that I missed in the last dungeon there. But speaking of hard squids, there is one that I should finally be able to reach in the forest area. So let's, uh, I'm already halfway there, but... And I believe there's a shortcut here, yes. So where was it? Is it up here? Is it at the top of that tree, or is it still further over. Here it is. Okay, so I have found everything on this island in, in Sequin Land. Uh, but it's worth checking to see if anything new is happening over in the palace area. You're still an incredible salesman. You're still not He-Man. Um... You're still gone. And these guys probably still all say the same things. I'm taking whatever you're hiding in your candles, just for making me waste the energy to come out here again. We never did get to see the Sultana, at least not, uh, it looks like this is the last iteration of 
Scuttle Town. Um, no new conversations or anything. Uh, so, maybe she'll show up in the end credits or something, but uh, it was never something that I could do by choice because she's out traveling. Okay, so I took a look at my notes between episodes and the next place that has the most things for me to find is Mudbog Island. And I know a few places where I can use the cannon to reach things that I had before. Oh, but before I leave this island, I should melt down those heart squids I have. Uh, over here. I find it funny how they have just these adorable little smiles before they get hammer smashed. You know, for someone who works around a hot furnace all day, that outfit might be cool enough for it, but it sure isn't going to protect you from smoldering embers and whatever jumps out of there. But I suppose if she's made a living of this, she's made it this long. Alright, so let's see what we can find on Mudbog Island. And I remember I tried so hard to get running in this area so that I could get to some higher places, but it, there's just not a space where I can do it. Uh, how strong is my scimitar now? I should check that. Oh, it does- oh, it does 10! It does the same damage as the power kick does! I have a faster power kick that can be chained. <laughs> Let's see how much I can avoid here now that I'm a little more mobile. I have a place I can get running up here, but I probably don't have anywhere I can run to. Gotta get you out of the way before I try anything funny. Oh yeah, I just got cut off there. I could probably jump over that and keep going, but let's just keep an eye out, see if there's anything actually worth it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm not not blitzing my way through here. Ah! <laughs> let me out, let me out! This place is just crawling with enemies. I don't feel like I want to save right here. Um, my logic for that was because my health is low, but then I remember that if I do go back to a save, then all it's going to do is refill my health. So I probably could have, but yeah, I'm I'm doing okay. You know, half my health. I'm as okay as okay can be. Ah, too close. Thing right behind me. This place is brutal. <laughs> it was before and it is now. There's enemies up above to keep me from just, uh, cannon jumping my way through. Uh, why is this place so vicious? You know, it... I actually missed it the first time around that when the big adventurer guy said that, uh... The person at the gate has made friends with his fist. I thought they actually came to an agreement on something and became friends. I did not realize he was saying that he beat the guy uh, to the ground. Okay, so that's two secrets that I found here. And there should be one more. Uh, and I just checked my notes, and I think I see where it is. I have to find the central area first. I'll go ahead and save, because my logic before was dumb. 
Um, okay, here's the central area. I'm gonna bet nobody says anything new, do ya? Yeah, so if I go off in this direction... There was a place over here where there's this eye statue thing that operates the cage over here. Except that I don't need this anymore. I can just jump my way right up here and there is a cackle bat. Whoa! That was different. Kinda stuck there, ain't ya? That brings us up to 20 Dark Magic. I've defeated all the Cackle Bats. Awesome. So I'm at one Heart Squid right now, um, which means there's three more, and I should find them. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Well, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to cut to when I'm in the place where I can see these Heart Squids. And I'm going to show just the collection, like, when I figure out what to do. However, I don't know exactly how long it will take me to do that, so collecting hard squids might bleed over into one more video. We shall see. But uh, I'll see you when I'm at the location of the first one. Okay, I'm here at the first heart squid that I saw that I could not get to. And I really don't know what I can do about this. I mean... There's gotta be a way... There it is! Wow! By the way, before I cut to the next part, I noticed that... Uh, how do I get out of here? There it is. Um, the music for this uh, dungeon is the same as the 8-bit bonus dungeon. It's just the more updated version of a song, so that might be part of why I thought I'd heard it before. Uh, but see you at the next Heart Squid. So here's another one from Lakitu1134. Told me to remember this room. This is Tanline Island in the temple with the princess where we were mistaken for a princess. This is the room with the first key, and I found out what he wanted me to remember it for. There's a little nook up here, and I see lots and lots of gems, which that's good because I'm going to need some gems for the final upgrade. I might even try to find some of the rooms I couldn't reach before in here and try to get some. So, once more, thanks to him. Apparently I missed that map my first time coming through here. <laughs> That's a tricky place to hide a hard squid. Hey, I've come this far destroying every destroyable block in this room. I'm not going to stop now that I found the thing. Okay, one more to go. I love doing that after all the trouble they gave me before. Okay, that's how I get to that treasure chest, and it's just the map of the place. Oh, yeah. Wow! That's a weird place for a fake wall.
Oh, it's this one. Okay, now that I actually remember where that is, how do I get in there? It looks so... Oh, it was that simple all along. I should have definitely written down where that was because I just spent an hour trying to find it. And it was just as simple as crawl under there. Uh, well, that kills any chance I had at getting a 100% completion fast run, but I can still get a 100% completion run. So let me just take us back to Scuttletown before I end this video. Alright, let's do some shopping. So, first and foremost, let's upgrade the hair whip one more time in each direction. At least I'm hoping that's the last upgrade. Okay. And I've got 246 gems left. Um, I did use a bunch of red potions while I was looking for heart squids, so I can go ahead and, um buy up as many of these as I can get. No need to hold back on those. And might as well get a few auto potions while I'm at it. Um, so there should be no chance of anything bad happening to me in the last place, right? I should uh, get these converted into hearts while I'm here. Alright. I found out, by the way, that a red potion heals 8 hearts worth, 32 health, and not actually a completely full heal. I don't know why it doesn't do it completely. It seems like it ought to. But I'm gonna save it here, and next time we'll take that last island. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Before I go searching for heart squids, I'm here in Scuttletown. I know that Mimic was doing an experiment with the dark magic, so let's just check if he has a different conversation. He does not. Which means I can probably just cut this part out and use it as an outtake or something. <laughs>